How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I wanted to quickly address this question, which is, can an ISP tell if you're torrenting? Well, yes, it is possible for an ISP to tell if you're using BitTorrent or another file sharing service to download or upload files. This is because file sharing programs typically create multiple connections to the internet and transfer large amounts of data, which can be detected by the ISP. ISPs use various methods to detect and monitor file sharing activity on their networks. For example, they may use traffic analysis techniques to identify patterns of data transfer that are characteristic of file sharing programs. Um, they may also use deep packet inspection or DPI to examine the content of internet traffic passing through their network and identify specific types such as files being transferred via BitTorrent. And it's important to note that many ISPs have policies in place to monitor and regulate the use of their networks, and they may take action if they detect unauthorized file sharing activity. This could include issuing warnings, throttling internet speeds, or even disconnecting the service. Therefore, it's important to be aware of your ISP's policies and use file sharing programs responsibly. Now, one thing you can do to avoid all that headache is simply use a VPN, because as you can tell, you can see that there's one person seeding uh, this torrent right here. And anyone that's also downloading the torrent can be seen. You can tell their IP address and port and the client that they're using. So it's important to connect to a VPN when doing that because a VPN will mask your IP address. It will hide your activity from your ISP so that they can't tell what you're doing because as far as your ISP is concerned, your IP address is just not doing anything. And so in this case, you're gonna need a VPN with a strict no logs policy that allows for peer-to-peer -peer activities such as torrenting and will give you access to many servers um, that can also bypass geo restrictions and good obfuscation so that your activity can be hidden as regular uh, internet traffic and not VPN traffic. So if you're looking to hide your internet activity altogether from your ISP so that you can avoid any potential throttling or blacklisting, you're gonna need a good reliable VPN. Of course, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budget and features so pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of these vpns and your own preferences uh, specific needs and budget of course you've got express nord and surfshark express has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries and you'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription and of course you've got the necessary security features to keep you secure such as the kill switch and split tunneling you've got nord vpn with over 5,300 servers in 59 countries you also get the necessary security features but also a whole bunch of bonus features to keep your devices secure and you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. And finally, you've got Surfshark with over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, and you'll be able to secure up to virtually an unlimited number of devices with just one subscription, which makes it a great option if you want to share your account with as many friends and family members as you would like. Um, overall, these three VPNs are great VPNs, the top three VPNs overall in the business. You've got ExpressVPN, which will have a strong emphasis on privacy, security, and utmost anonymity. NordVPN uh, being the cheaper option, about half the price of Express Express VPN, and it will give you a whole bunch of security features that can be very useful. Overall, it's a very well-rounded option that offers a whole lot of value for a very reasonable price. And an even cheaper option is available, which is Surfshark, and this is going to be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without really sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you need to keep your devices secure. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And in case you're not satisfied with any of these VPNs, you can still get yourself a refund so you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk-free. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.